Hi everyone, welcome to VRM24.com channel. Today we are going to assemble Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. First we need to remove the SIM card tray. For that we use a SIM eject tool. Insert it into the small hole and gently push to release the tray. Next let's take out the S Pen so it doesn't get in the way. If the phone has accidentally powered on, it is best to turn it off if possible. Before we begin any further, it is very important to protect the display. We are going to cover it with a thick protective film, since the screen is quite expensive. Now we move on to heating up the back cover. We are using a heating mat for this, but a heat gun or hair dryer works too. Heat the device to around 70 degrees Celsius or about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And after about 10 minutes of heating, we can start removing the back cover. The back cover is made of glass, so we need to be extra careful here. We will insert a thin plastic film or card into the gap between the back cover and the frame. Then gently work it along the edge to separate the adhesive. As always, be especially cautious around the camera area to avoid damaging the lenses. Unfortunately, in our case, the back core had already been opened before. Next, we need to protect the camera lenses. We will use a special protective film. Important not. The film should be applied to the camera rim around the lenses, not directly on the lenses themselves. And with the lenses covered, we move on to removing the screws from the top section. For this, we are using a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 o Please keep in mind that the screws may differ, so it is best to organize them on a magnetic mat or sorting tray in the same order you remove them. Now using a non-metal tool we disconnect the connector for the wireless charging coil and the NFC module. Use the same kind of tool to disconnect the battery connector. Next we remove the upper cover with the speaker. Carefully pry it up and lift it off, making sure nothing is in the way and set it aside. Before working on the bottom section, let's add an extra layer of safety. Lay something non-conductive under the battery connector to prevent it from reconnecting and potentially shorting the circuit. Now we can unscrew the bottom screws. Again, use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 o and keep these screws separate from the top ones. Also, screws may not fit properly if they are placed in the wrong holes during reassembly. As you can see, the NFC module was already partially detached before. Gently remove it and move on to the lower speaker cover. It is really important to find the correct spot to start prying the bottom speaker cover. On this model, there is a small arrow indicating where to start. It points to an opening on the top side of the cover. We carefully disconnect and lift of the cover with a loudspeaker and set it aside. Now we will start disconnecting cables. Detach the interconnect flex cable and the antenna cable and move them out of the way. By the way, the flex cables are labeled with the arrows showing the direction toward the motherboard. We disconnect the display cable and move it aside as well. Now we will remove the screws holding the subboard in place. These screws are different from the previous ones, so keep them separated. We are still using the same 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver here. 
be sure to remember where these screws go for proper reassembly. Once the screws are out, we can remove the subboard. Gently pry it up from the edge and lift it out. As we can see, the subboard houses the microphone, charging port and SIM card connector on the reverse side. Let's do our usual microphone opening check. The microphone hole is located in the display frame. It has an L-shaped design and is protected by a membrane and gasket from the board side. The microphone itself sits on the underside of the subboard. If you stick something into the mic hole, you won't damage the microphone itself. Now we move on to the motherboard. We disconnect the S Pen connector and also connector for the side buttons. We can now disconnect the front facing camera. Usually it's secured with a compound, but in our case it is removable. Just be careful to lift it by the base so you don't snap it in half. Gently lift the camera from the base and set it aside. It is a good idea to cover the lens to prevent dust from getting on it. Before we remove the motherboard, double check that no screws are holding it down. Don't try to force it out. If it doesn't come up easily, you probably miss it a screw. Looking closely, and yes, we missed two screws that secure the motherboard and rear camera assembly. Once those are out, we can gently lift the motherboard. It should come out smoothly. Now flip the motherboard over and disconnect the rear camera module. Unplug the connectors and set both the motherboard and camera assembly aside. Unfortunately, in our smartphone the battery wouldn't come out. It was stuck very firmly in place. The owner requested we not remove it. This often happens with Samsung batteries that have blue pull tabs. High temperatures can cause the adhesive to melt and stick firmly to the base or sides of the battery. So, the down is now complete. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video or on our website or on our Telegram channel. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.